Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Jeff at LockdownSecurity.ca, www.LockdownSecurity.ca. And uh, today I'm bringing you a video on a 2014 Jeep Wrangler that I just finished a Viper 5706 two-way alarm with remote starter. Now, a uh, couple of cool things about this one. We do uh, quite a bit of Viper systems, but we generally are not doing a ton of Viper systems with all of the advanced sensors from directed electronics like we've done on this vehicle. Now. Uh, before I get started, I always like to ask if uh, you could like this video if you enjoy watching it and if you could subscribe to our station, our YouTube channel, it will go a long way to help us make even more of these videos uh, for all of our loyal fan base. Um, so without further ado, basically what I've installed today is the Viper 5706V. It is a two-way LCD alarm with remote starter. comes with this two-way LCD remote. Also comes with a one-way four-button remote control. Uh, this 2014 Wrangler did need an interface module, so we use the 410 EVO CHRT5. This makes your life as an installer much, much easier because it's a T-harness plug-and-play system. Now, I did hardwire the 410 module to the Viper. Uh, I have to admit the uh, D to D and uh, RS-232 protocols for all you installers that know what that means uh, is not always as reliable as we would like it to be between Viper and 410. So hardwiring guarantees you a secure uh, connection as well as uh, proper data to data um, feeds between the two modules. Now I mentioned that we did a bunch of advanced sensors. So what we did on this vehicle was we did the Directed Essentials 507M digital tilt sensor. We did the Directed Essentials 508D double guard field disturbance sensor, otherwise known as a PROC sensor, proximity sensor or motion sensor. We also did the Directed Essentials 520T backup battery for the actual alarm system. Um, this backup battery system is pretty cool in that it comes with a backup battery module so that if uh, the actual main vehicle battery is disconnected, that backup battery module will not only trigger the alarm, uh, it also uh, provides proper recharging of the actual backup battery. So let me show you how this system works. I'll just turn around to the vehicle here. Uh, if I hit lock, it basically locks the doors and arms the OEM alarm. You can see the red indicator light uh, indicates the OEM alarm is armed. That beeping you're hearing is the remote it has a low battery. I didn't charge this for long enough. It is USB rechargeable, a little micro USB port. We mounted the vehicle antenna for the alarm up in the corner there. Now the antenna has a blue LED. Um, basically that just uh, warns thieves away to say that it has an aftermarket alarm. Now what that was right there was, that was the field disturbance sensor. Now I wanted to show you guys that because I've actually set it up so that when the proximity slash field disturbance sensor goes off, it actually shows on the actual remote control. Now uh, it triggered there because I walked up next to the vehicle. Let me show you what happens when I stick my hand in the vehicle. Now the purpose of this sensor, the reason why the customer wanted this was because in the summertime, the hard top comes off as do the doors and he really enjoys this vehicle for what it's meant for, which is cruising around in the hot weather with no doors and no roof. So basically, as you can see, the sensor's a little bit sensitive. I do have to do some adjustments, but if I stick my hand in here and I move it around, the alarm triggers and it tells me field disturbance sensor. Now, if I hit the unlock button, that silences the alarm and turns it off. Uh, same thing would happen if I uh, jacked this vehicle up. So that's what the digital tilt sensor does. Digital tilt sensor detects if the vehicle is being towed or if somebody is trying to steal the wheels. Uh, in the springtime, the customer is planning on adding aftermarket wheels, so it was important to him that he could protect those. And then with the uh, double guard shock sensor that the system comes with, if you impact the vehicle, it will trigger the alarm as well. Um, last but not least, I'll show you the remote start functionality. If I press the remote start button, you hear a tone from the remote. Ignition turns on and the remote starter activates. Uh, while the vehicle is running, you will see that the parking lights are on. That is selectable. You can actually make the parking lights flash or you can make them stay on steady. Most customers like it on steady, so we leave it that way. Uh, and if you wanted to, you could shut the vehicle off by remote. There's the remote start button. Vehicle shuts off. Now, I had set the remote runtime to 20 minutes. So basically this vehicle would idle for 20 minutes and then shut down. Uh, that is selectable all the way up to 60 minutes. Most people choose between 12 and 20. Um, this customer wanted 20. 
And I'm going to briefly show you one other thing, which is important on this particular vehicle. So as you can see, it is very easy to open the hood on a Jeep. In fact, I would say a little bit too easy. So what we've installed, rather than a mechanical hood pin switch, we installed a mercury pin switch that detects tilt. There's a ball of mercury inside that switch. When the hood goes up, the, the mercury goes to the back and completes the contact and triggers the alarm. There's the siren at the back. The wiring is all loomed and run through factory grommets. And on this particular vehicle, we did have to run a power feed from the battery. Now, there is power inside the vehicle, but in terms of a power feed that can accept or that can handle more than 10 amps, we feel more comfortable going direct to the battery. We've got it, um, we've used a special type of tape called Tessa tape, zip tied the harness up. As you'll see, it's very hard to see that that is the main power feed for the system. It wouldn't matter if a thief got to that anyways, because by the time you open the hood, the alarm would go off and we've got a battery backup system equipped on this Jeep. Uh, it is very important if you put an alarm on a Jeep that you have a specialized hood pin just to detect this and you may want to invest in some hood locks because that can go a long way to preventing a thief from opening the hood. I'll just close this down here. So that's about it on this Jeep Wrangler 2014. If you or someone you know is interested in a security system for your vehicle or remote starter, call us up 1-866-824-4118 or visit us on the web www.lockdownsecurity.ca uh, or email us sales at lockdownsecurity.ca.